Meghan Markle has spoken out in defence of a 2019 baby shower while reflecting on the criticism she faced over the extravagant party. In February 2019, Meghan, who was at the time pregnant with her and Prince Harry's son Archie, travelled to New York City for a surprise baby shower. The celebration, held in Manhattan at the Mark Hotel, was an admittedly lavish occasion with a guest list full of famous figures. But even so, Meghan has never understood why the affair was met with such intense scrutiny from both the public and the palace. Meghan explained during the Netflix series, My girlfriend surprised me with a really beautiful baby shower in New York. They're like, we're going to shower her with love. We're going to shower a baby. We're going to get through this. She went on to convey a confusion on why there was so much upset about the shower, saying, These strong, successful, independent women choose to use their own money. And it's not taxpayer money to throw a party for their friend from a place of love. She questioned rhetorically, why are you taking such a beautiful moment and trying to ruin it? She explains that her friends paid for it themselves, so the press had no right to tear it down. But who told the media about it in the first place? How would anyone know unless they were told? When Meghan flew to New York, how would anyone know what she was doing or where? That would indicate that Meghan planted it. She wanted to be important. She wanted press. She wanted to be associated with those names in a public forum. She also arranged for her and the guests to enter the hotel through the main entrance, when it's common practice for high-profile people to enter through the back. According to Tom Bauer's book, Serena Williams' publicists were asked by Sunshine Sachs to organise the baby shower. In return, Serena was guaranteed she could merch a clothing line. Basically, every guest was promised something in terms of PR or merching or career perks in return. It was intended as part of launching Meghan's brand in the US ahead of a move back. So Serena Williams and Amal Clooney were used. This is a clear sign that Meghan thinks that being a royal duchess is about celebrity, not royalty. Patrick Jefferson, Diana's longtime private secretary, said of the reported $500,000 baby shower. Royal biographer Ingrid Seward described the 2019 affair as trashy, with its starry guest list and swanky location. Ingrid said, they walked in through the front entrance carrying these enormous bags from the most expensive shops in New York. Crowds gathered because they were all celebrities. There was Gail King from CBS, Serena Williams, Amal Clooney. Meanwhile, Dickie Arbiter, the late Queen's press secretary until 2000, said, Baby showers, it's very much an American thing. We don't do it here in the UK. It was a bit over the top in terms of expense. And the way she got there, he continued, Meghan is American and she does things the American way. Meghan shared never before seen photos of her star studded baby shower in New York City in an episode of Harry and Meghan. In photos, the A list group, which included Serena Williams, placed their hands on Meghan's baby bump and gathered on the couch for a photo. For the special occasion, Meghan wore a navy blue sleeveless dress with a white polka.